All right, let's do the Sonic and Knuckles playthrough. I'm gonna be Knuckles. Ah, oh, Knuckles is having a beautiful day looking at animals. And he's thinking to himself, oh, food, until a bomb lands next to him. He's like, wah! He's like, you, <laughs> you feed smell. Come back, you stupid robot. Or something. So, Sonic and Knuckles was one of the first... was actually my first experience with Sonic. Well, not Sonic 3, but Sonic and Knuckles. It was given to me by my mother uh, for my birthday. And I was really, really happy to get this game, but I was pretty confused that there was no Tails in this game. I knew about Sonic 3, but for some reason, this was the game I got first. So I used to rent Sonic 3 from the video tech and did a lock on technology. Why do you always start there? And yeah. So some interesting facts I can tell about my personal experience with Sonic and Knuckles. I was blown away by Mushroom Hills and all the amazing mushrooms. I'm like, yeah, you got nothing on Mario now. <laughs> and I'm doing a no emerald run. Because I suppose I don't see the need to do that. Because I just want to highlight... Wow. I just want to highlight my favorite part of the game. So, I knew that Knuckles and Sonic were, what, what should I say, rivals or enemies in the beginning, but I always thought in the beginning Knuckles was a chick, not a dude. Why? I think it was his eyes that caught me off guard, and maybe the color because he looks to be a bit more pink than red, to me at least. And yeah. Knuckles, dear kids, now an angry chick was after Sonic the Hedgehog because he stole her chili dog. So that was basically the story in my head. And when I was, when I figured out that Knuckles was a dude, I'm like, wait, what? So, Knuckles can't jump very high, which makes it a bit annoying for certain boss fights. And I don't know why I got hit by the lava there, but that's okay. Give me more! No! Knuckles could throw at one. And when I heard that you can actually play as Tails in Martian Hills on the Lock-On technology, I got super happy, or Sonic and Tails rather said. So yeah, when I played as Sonic, it's like, where's Tails? I've always had Tails with me. I think it's really cool how Knuckles can glide, he can punch things, well, basically destroy... Wow. Destroy. Uh, breaks or hit. Wow, my English has failed. He can destroy walls and stuff in his way to conquer. Or to conquer all the Robotnik's robots and get further in his quest. And I also fell in love with this part. It's like, oh my goodness, I can glide with a mushroom. Mushroom. I always wanted to glide with a mushroom, even though they stink like pollen and stuff. Um, uh, oh yeah, I have a huge, I have a huge spot for this echidna in my heart. I used to love it because I always saw him as being a tough dude. And being very smart, very strong. And when Zega made him brain dead stupid, I got really sad. Like, I didn't understand. I thought that was not fair. He is, to me, not a stupid character. Yes, he's naive and gullible, but hey, he's been living alone on an island for God knows how many years. Of course he's going to be a bit naive, especially if you don't have much social interaction. So the last game, Sonic Frontiers, I felt did him a service, especially that awesome animation before it. Of course. I'm playing super, super bad today, but that's fine. Come on, Knuckles, you can do this. We're speeding through. Yes, I am I am missing a lot of big rings, because as I said, I don't want to do an Emerald run. I can be for another time. Even when I'm not having a commentary. Come on, let's go. Knuckles be like, this chicken nugget has nothing on me. Oh my goodness, he blew me away. He blew me harder than my girlfriend. I don't think Knuckles has a girlfriend. 
Me with a beard? I don't know. I know the comics law and the game law really don't match up anymore because there was a big court case going on, yada yada, and Archie law. Well, Archie didn't lose. Well, Archie lost the contract with Zega, blah blah blah. Oh my goodness! My name is Robotnik and I am sending pictures of naked women to the atmosphere. No, you don't. Stop it. Hey, that's not Robotnik, it's a faker. It's a robot! I am a faker who thinks I am cool because I work for Robotnik. You cannot stop me because you smell like poo. Ha ha ha. Oh! My bag! I'm going to sue you, you rotten kidnap. Did you know his ship is pear shaped? Knuckles got through act two. And while I'm streaming, there's a black and white cat on my lap demanding attention, even though I don't want to give it to her because I'm busy. I used to love this part with the flying battery coming to pick you up. Come on. Flying battery zone. I wonder if this this looks like a big massive battery. Down, 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 down. I'm trying to I'm trying to be quick as possible. Oh my goodness. No, I burned my butt. I burned my hiney. Oh no, not my butt. I am really one centimeter off of everything today. Thank goodness for fire bubble. And this is one of the best soundtracks in the entire game. And I'm very happy Sonic Origins didn't take this part away, but we are playing it on the me on the original Genesis. Whee! <laughs> I'm gonna glide because I'm a pro- Whoa! That didn't work? How rude! How rude! So who is absolutely my favorite character of them all? I would say Sonic. I've always been a Sonic fangirl. The Knuckles... Knuckles is a close third. I mean, I love Tails as well. I know a lot of people hate Tails, especially in Sonic 2, because how he messes everything up. But Tails has a soft spot in my heart as well. So yes, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a vanilla Sonic fan, meaning I love the good old 2D platformers and original characters. I mean, I love the modern games as well, but it's not the same with all the extra characters. Like, Amy is probably the last character I really like, especially now since they toned her down. Come on, I'm going to smack this wall, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's my lucky day. Do I want to go in there? Yeah, sure. We don't want to destroy it in debug mode. I mean, you can get some crazy corruption when you... Basically manipulate the RAM of the Mega Drive because you're overloading everything. I don't think a water bubble would be good for flying battery zone. Yes, fire or lightning. Lightning would be actually perfect. I really do enjoy going round on spheres the whole day. It reminds me that our planet is actually round and not flat. Imagine if the planet would be flat. Then I'll be, then I'll be rolling off it, never to be seen again. All right, let's go. Actually, you can just go up here. I love it that these stages have different paths. I think it's really amazing that they do. Yeah, spin, spin, spin! Oh my God, got to spin to win. Oh no, 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 no! I love this part as well. Like, oh my goodness, it's physics! You cannot hit me over there, because I'm going to jump down. Oh, I was expecting to go fast. Maybe not. Oh no, Spike. Spike? <laughs> ah, don't let the spikes get you. Don't let those spike balls or those morning stars get you. Come on. Yay. You can do this. I believe in you. Thank you. Woohoo! Cause you gotta go fast, gotta go echidna. Oh, it's you. It's my neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Why are you hitting yourself, neighbor? Stop hitting your head. Come on, neighbor. Don't be like that. Oh my goodness, he hits himself again. What are you doing? Stop it! Get off me! He keeps hitting himself. 
A poor dude. Are you okay? Do you have a headache? I, I would assume that you're having a very nasty headache. I mean, it's all right. It's not your fault you're dumb. Maybe I can educate a bit about not hitting you. Stop hitting yourself. Yay, we saved the animal. Give me a chest. Knuckles punch through Act 1. Oh, I can get some facts about Knuckles, I guess. So, when you play as Knuckles and Sonic and Knuckles, you have less stages than Sonic, so you won't get access to Death Egg Zone or Doomsday Zone unless you use Debug Mode. And if you do that... <laughs> oh my goodness, the corruption's hilarious. And if you try to get to the credits with that, the game just crashes because it doesn't know what to do anymore. Which is brilliant. Oh yeah. Go down, down, down. I am going down, and down, down, down. Because going down is better than going up. I glide away like the hat man. Because I'm knuckles the echidna. Seriously, I love this music. I'm sure it's also made by Box Baxter. But funny enough, the music from Sonic and Knuckles has not been taken away like from Sonic 3. I don't know why. I find that really, really strange. And I am playing on the original hardware, so we're going to have the original soundtrack. And the game is running at 60 hertz, so you won't have any weird slowdowns or weird floaty feelings or weird control inputs. Oh no, none of that today. Whee! And I got a very fun fact. Even though I got my game from Germany and went to set Mega Drive, it's actually the American version I have. I don't know why Germany got the American version, but we did, but that's okay, because there's no region lock on Sonic and Knuckles. Like Sonic 3, that one has a region lock. Maybe it was a little maybe it was an afterthought, or they forgot about it, and like, you know what, that's a safe time and money. Oh. So yes. So somebody actually said it to me on Twitter that you buy basically have the NTSC version. I'm like, what? Whoa! That was not cool. That's no good. I really love it that you can glide. You make my life much easier. I'm Super Knuckles, oh my god, Super Knuckles! You probably will be way better than Superman 64. Let's just be honest. And we're gonna keep on going. Well, I scratched my butt. Ugh, I hate the slots machine. It's not a fun bonus stage, that one, because you can lose your rings, um, you can absolutely get nothing, and you get dizzy. That's not a- that's not a win in my box, and yeah, there's a bonus, there's a special stage ring to the left. If you want to go there and get the emerald. Oh no. So this boss is all about avoid. Just avoid. Please, let me out. I need to get my fruit. I need to eat a banana. And he's like, no. I'm going to tell Robotnik that you put me in here. And he paid me to do it. But robots get paid now? Cool. Do the robots have their own union? Robotnik's union. And I think there's a little graphical glitch underneath where you see the clouds through the graphics, which is like a small oversight. If you notice where the floor is, sometimes you do see the clouds passing by. That is actually an oversight, which is funny. Yeah, he destroyed himself. Good job, mate. Good job. Yes, of course, if I was super hyper knuckles, I could climb way faster. Oh my goodness, what, what the heck happened there? That was my bad. Hurry up! Hurry up! I don't need to wait for you. I can climb because I'm awesome. Cause I'm going around, around, around. Flying through batteries, destroying everything in my way. You can't stop me, cause you're not free. Maybe you need to go and have a pee. Alright, so here's a little oversight. Robotnik's here! He's not supposed to be here because he got defeated. Robotnik, he smells like fish sticks and he is dumb because he sees the fish. I 
totally hurt myself and the boss is harder because I don't know why. Oh my goodness, you spy. Oh my goodness, you spy. Oh my goodness, you spy. Hey, Rob Bunny wants barbecue echidna today. Mm-mm. Is that on the menu? Sounds good, but I don't eat a kidna. Not because I'm vegan, because it's just cruel to eat your favorite heroes. Come on, Robotnik! If I could punch you in the face, I would. He's like, yeah, come here! Ha 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 ha! You're doomed, you're doomed, and you're red like a tomato. Bye bye! I'm gonna come after you now. Oh. Bro, Bro Knuckles just glided through that little prison. Cage, or whatever it is. Or capsule. You gotta love the cutscenes. Let's go! Question. Wouldn't he go splat if he hit the ground? No, I guess not. I guess echidnas and hedgehogs and foxes have like these superpowers that don't go splat. <laughs> I keep forgetting that his glide gets, gets you a few pixels down. And his face is like, what? Oh no, yeah, I'm being lifted upside down. <laughs> oh, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, imagine, not, he has an island. This is his island now, and he has all these amazing zones. He has Ice Cap Zone, Lava Reef, uh, Sandopolis. That is kind of neat. Imagine you have a date. You go like, hey, baby, want to check my island out? It's amazing. Oh, I went the wrong way. Did you also know that Sandopolis Zone is one of my least favorite stages? I I don't like the second part, and it's actually harder when you're not Super Knuckles because of the annoying ghost. I just find it very unnecessary. But the music's pretty cool. Because for some reason it takes inspiration from ancient Egypt. Oh no, I don't want to go on you. Whoa, the game is glitching! No! <laughs> Eject! I'm leaving. I'm not doing this. Bye. I didn't want to go inside you. <laughs> I wonder if I actually broke the game a bit from all the debug mode stuff. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you for the sand sandstones. Maybe maybe that's how Knuckles builds his pyramid. He gets the environment to do the lay before him, which is ingenious. I, I I knew he was an architect. Oh no. Oh my god! I'm getting dizzy. So, is Knuckles like the hard mode of Sonic Ray and Knuckles? Yes. There are some things that are against him. One, the bosses are a bit harder, and sometimes he gets two instead of one. Two, he doesn't jump very high. Because reasons. But in return, he has less stages. So I would also say if you want to play this game really fast through, play as Knuckles. Unless there are categories in the speedrunning community where you have to play as Sonic or Tails, etc. Then of course you play as the other characters. But he is not a boring character to play. I mean, look at that beautiful red ball and sand. <laughs> I still think he looks more pink than red to me. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's just my eyes. Ow! I mean, it's true that not everybody sees color the same way. Some people have more color receptors in their eyes, whatever they call it, than others, and some people are sadly colorblind. And that's one thing that's sad about these old games, not really accessible to those who have a certain challenges or conditions, rather sad. And that's what makes me sad about the retro games. I guess back then, the developers didn't know how to work around it. Oh my goodness, let's- Yay! Oh no! Oh no! It's happening! So... There's a very quick way you can do this, boss. Erect pyramid! The pyramid is standing! Let him come to you! I'm not super narco, so this is going to hurt, but I don't really care. I'm not trying to get a perfect score. I'm just playing the game. Come on. 
You're an NTSC, you have no excuse to be slow. So this golem or whatever he is is a bit special. I don't know if he, I don't think he's a robot actually. Turn around. Wow. It is slower. What the heck? I'm disappointed. Hi. <laughs> yes. Yay. So, do you like to explore pyramids? Do you? Do you like to see ancient his history of ancient races and tribes that no longer exist? Well, let's go to act, to act two. Sandopolis Zone. And this place is teeming of ghosts because Sonic and Tails were so polite to let them free. I mean, it took Knuckles 10 years to capture those ghosts. How did you lure them? With farts. You have to fart to lure the ghosts into a cage and now they're free again to do whatever they want. Which is not very nice. Oh, we're gonna try to get out of here. I remember the ghosts used to freak me out as a child. I mean, I, I was actually terrified of them. Oh, now I let them free. And I used to get stuck here when playing on this, because there's one jump that was really difficult to pull off because of his height. Not even super knuckles would help. And that really got on my nerves. Oh, this is a bonus stage. I keep finding them. It's funny, when I need them, I can't find them. But when I don't need them, I find them all the time. Anyone else has the same problem? Right. La 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 Have you seen donuts? Delicious donuts. With some... Come on! So, a little thing what's going on. I'm playing not with an original controller, I'm playing with a... I think it's retro bit controller, and it's so, so sensitive. Because I'm used to playing old controllers that are not sensitive, and they're rather, you know, a bit delayed. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot. Because of Knuckles' height, it also makes the game a bit more challenging. Knuckles is a few pixels taller, and Sonic and Tails. Bad ghost. And I'm... <laughs> wow, that was rude. Holy moly. And yes, this is probably the most stressful level I find. But what I love about playing with them, you actually get to skip some bosses. Oh. oh, now you guys are really getting big. Well, too bad. So, do you need to hit this one as Narcos? Well, yes and no. I do it anyway because I can't remember if I get stuck or not. So, yes, certainly Knuckles has, don't hit me, has his awesome climbing ability, which really helps. Because I remember as a kid, I used to get stuck here, Sonic and Tails and die a horrible death. Was it here? But it was a place I got stuck. Mm, let's see, let's just get up. So yeah, I do think it's fair that he gets a bit of a bigger challenge than Sonic and Tails does. Yeah, it was here I used to die. And that's my experience playing this game as a kid. But luckily, it's straightforward. Oh no, it's a tiny little ghost. What will you possibly do with me? What are you gonna do with me, you horrible little thing? Whoa! I'm having close calls all the time. Yes, I do weird noises when I'm focusing. It, I don't know why it happens, but I do. 
All right, let's go up, 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 up. There you go. Now this is where it gets a bit more interesting. The thing is, you have to really, really plan one jump really well to get further. And this is why I used to get stuck. And I hate- whoa, and I hated it. Yes, you can actually fall down. Some places don't kill you. Some places take you to a secret area. I'm not doing that today. Really? Again with the bonus stages? I do have a talent to find them. <laughs> uh, how many haven't we found so far in this video? If you guys are going to watch to the end, which is really awesome of you, let me know in the comments below how many I've been trying to avoid. We don't want evil dark ghosts. We don't want ghosts in my pants. Okay. Is this the thing where it gets a bit challenging? Yeah, so here we have to do something really smart. Well, was it again? Did I miss it? Yeah, do you want to get squashed? Well, that's one thing for certain. I'm not a speedrunner. I bet I missed that. I bet it was on the top. Is it? What? Oh, for heaven's sake. I don't think it's on the top. I think it's further in. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I remember now. It's here. This, this is how you know this is a Knuckles path, not a Sonic path. Here it is. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Evil ghosts. They think I can just spawn. As I said, this is my least favorite level in the whole game. I find it's way too long. And you don't really go fast in this level. Instead, you're just trying to survive. It becomes more like a platforming level. Which is, you know, fair enough. I guess you need a bit of variety in Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. So it was here I used to get stuck. This was the god-awful jump. Yay! Eh, whatever. I need a bubble. Thanks! You missed! That's good enough. Alright, let's do this. Robot pick! So, is it Dr. Ivo Kintobo or was it his... No, it's his stupid servant. I'm gonna hug you because you smell like fish. And I make love to fish. Fish things are amazing if you haven't seen them. Because I'm Robot Nick. Have you seen my Bob? Have you seen my Bob? Why is this robot so annoying? Alright. <laughs> we didn't lose rings! What a miracle! Holy moly. Knuckles got through the worst stage in the game! We have... Three, four stages left. The Reef Zone, Act 1. I love the music in this stage. Also one of the best soundtracks. La, la, la. Wow! I'm getting below. So, there's a very interesting bug you can pull off if you hit this dude and die like I did. Knuckles, your disappointment to the hu to the echidna race and you're the last one. So you just actually disappointed yourself. Good job, man. Good job. And yes, there's some deadly traps you can get fat and turned into a pancake, you know. Strawberry pancake, because he's red. Or tomato pancakes, maybe people like tomatoes on their pancakes. I don't know, I'm not going to judge them for their food preferences. So 
So if you attack this guy, go in debug mode, fly around the Sonic, and then as it plays with platforms and so on, and the lava doesn't spawn, you go to the end, you actually will not finish the zone, you go straight to zone 2, and then the game starts corrupting itself like mad. And if you do it properly, woo, a nice surprise awaits you. I just wish I could pull that off because I'm not 100% sure of the steps anymore, but it was one of my... If I pull it off right, it's a hilarious bug. It sounds like someone's having a bad summer. So, Knuckles, why do you have a chamber filled with lava and it's freaking dangerous? What is your aim of this level? Like, seriously, dude, what, what are you trying to do here? These robots are annoying. Alright, climb, and then you'll see the truth. Nice. So yes, Lava Reef Zone is a bit more hazardous with Knuckles than with Sonic or Tails. And it's only that part I seem to have a huge problem with. Ah. And you can also hear that Sonic and Knuckles has quite a different soundtrack than from Sonic 3, but if you use the lock-on technology, the music goes over to the other game. And the bonus stage is the one-armed bandit, or whatever it's called, the slot machine. And the sphere thingy also gets to the other bonus stages from Sonic 1. Basically, you get free them to stuff too. Oh no, it's evil, it's evil, it's back again. How is this one back again? Did we destroy it? Being super knuckles would have been better. Ooh. This is probably the most annoying mini boss there is. Because I think he can actually kill Super Sonic this one. Actually. Yes! Come on, big hand! <laughs> uh, this wasn't necessary to be like that! Alright, we got this. Wow! But you cannot shoot at me anymore! Wow, I, I thought you would only have four hits, to be honest. I am pleasantly surprised. Right, let's go. Let's go! And here we are. Now, this song is very beautiful. Our Reef Zone 2 Act 2 is, is fantastic. But yeah, you can really bug the zone up, as I mentioned before earlier in this video. And of course, we're playing as Nux. We are taking a complete different path. We're going to skip the boss. I think actually you can enter the boss fight with him, but we're not doing that. I think the game bugs if you do that, actually. Of course, technically, the story of Knuckles is after Sonic and Tails defeated the Death Egg Zone, so the Death Egg Zone's no longer there. But some of his enemies remain. Oh no, it's stinky fart gas! La la la. Nice. Nice, don't sneeze. And the fire bubble's your best friend on this level. I think it's funny that Sonic and Knuckles itself doesn't have a water stage. Only Sonic 3 does. I mean, they could have added a very cool water stage, just for fun. Because like me, as a kid, I got Sonic and Knuckles first, not Sonic 3. So when I first met Hydro Cities, I'm like, oh my god, this is a cool water stage. <laughs> and now... And some of these switches can be activated from behind. It's a bug, it shouldn't happen, but it does. Oh, damn. Oh. Bad. Hiya! I don't know, Knuckles. I would have thought you would maybe, maybe make the stages easier for yourself, but you haven't. 
you, you seriously haven't, dude. It's, it's nice that you like to challenge yourself the way of the warrior. And you, and you know yourself how to show yourself the way. That's also pretty cool. Oh no, here I go. Oh dear. <laughs> Having not a fire bubble is a crime. Especially at this part. Oh yeah, and those things will splatter you. Now I always think there's a face in the middle of those objects. Which is annoying. Boom! Yes. Make a teleportation sound. Way to go for borrowing sound effects from other things in the game to use them on that as well. Yes! Here we are, finally! Freedom! No boss fight! Thank you, thank you, we're done with the stage! Awesome! I think... so? And this is the end. Hidden Palazzo! Now this is a very quick stage with Knuckles. We're not even gonna do much. I mean, you can't fight yourself what well, you could, but that sounds really silly. There you go. And there you have it, the last boss fight. The cruel enemy is... Who's the enemy? <gasps> it's him! It's Metallics! Or, yeah, Metal Sonic. All right. So I prefer this version of Metal Sonic to the other version. I think he's the coolest of them all. What do you guys think? And he's also the most annoying of them all, especially when he, for some reason, can turn super. I, I, I never understood how a machine can do that. Maybe he can, maybe he's made of nanotechnology or something and gets supercharged. Bing, 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 bing. So this is the last day. So we're going to have a lot of fun. This is the most... I wouldn't say annoying boss. It's random. You can either attack him or you can't. Sometimes you can get two or three hits on him. No, no, no. It's Super Sonic Evil. Maybe that's why Knuckles called Sonic was the evil boss. Okay, that is bull. Wow. Yes, this boss can be really cheap. At least you get rings. At least you get rings. Not like Sonic 2 where you get zero rings. I'm very nervous now because I have no rings. Come on, Super Sonic, Super Douchebag. Yes! Corner me, will you? Just corner me. So, this last boss fight is a pain in the butt. Of course, he can corner you. And it doesn't matter if you're all the Chaos Emeralds or not, it's not going to help because you're only going to get three rings served to you. Right, let's go, you buff. Why is this robot such rubbish? I don't know why. I have no trouble playing it with Sonic, but with Knuckles, it's uh. We can do this. There you go. And if you guys are wondering what those lines are at the bottom, those are the cram lines of the Mega Drive trying to communicate with the TV. But I have a flat screen monitor, not a CRT. So it's like, hi, please do this with your cannon. And it's like, I don't have a cannon. And those information also contain RAM. I'm just gonna stand at the Master Emerald.
See, his attack patterns are completely random. He will either discharge his energy at you or not. And I don't know why he's so random, but he is. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay put at the Mars Emerald. Yeah, that's a good supersonic. Oh yeah, super tash, super tash, super tash. Oh my god, just super tash. I like to fly! I mean, you're like the super dangerous robot and you're actually using all your energy taking me out. Did you not, you know, take over the world? Wow, that was an epic fail. <laughs> I really miscalculated there. As I said, super sense of control, I'm not used to it. Come on! Not because it's dance to be ins, 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 ins. <laughs> so An Angel Island is technically already flying. But his Master Emerald got stolen again. Bye bye. I think he has one hit left. If he starts to go slow, yes, then we know. Boom! <laughs> Goodbye, Metal Sonic or Metallics. Destroyed you are. And that was the end of Knuckles' adventure. But will he be alive? Yes, Sonic saved him. Whoa! I've never seen that before where he was tired. Is it because I didn't have the Chaos Emeralds? Oh my god, that's amazing. So this is the bad ending. Wait a minute! <laughs> this is the first time in my life that I see the bad ending. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, I always got the Chaos Emeralds. Ah. At least the music is happy. Hey, you know what? I was doing Knuckles a favor. I was bringing him back to civilization. Wow, I didn't know there was a bad ending. Anyways, enjoy the credits. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which is gonna be some awesome crazy debug mode nonsense and 50 versus 60 hertz comparison of Sonic 2 with Knuckles. See you then.